Welcome to the lesson on density. That's going to be an action-packed lesson providing you with formulas and steps to solve the problem. First off, I want to take a look at this screen. I have density of matter screenshots of pictures to kind of help, un help you understand what density is all about. Density of matter d involves gases, liquids, and solids. The less dense the product is, the more likelihood of it to actually float, so to speak. The more dense that it is, the more likelihood of it to sink, such as the example that I have on my screen that deals with the root beer float. Take a look at it and what do you see? Describe it. You will see problems like this on your test where you'll have to type a response to a picture based on density. The next picture I have on the screen is one in which you have several different liquids that have different density uh, density. Uh, components. You have to be able to analyze what that means. For instance, if I look at the vegetable oil, there is a reason why it is on the top versus the honey. Why is it on the bottom? It deals with the ability of the, of the items being less or more dense based on their mass per volume. That is a formula that you will have to know in terms of our discussion on density. Mass per volume. Let's get started with our first problem set. There are some worksheets that you will find for you in the folder on Blackboard. The other thing that you'll keep in mind is that if you ever need to go back and replay this video, please do pause it so you can get the information. I have the examples provided for you on my screen so you can actually play them back at your leisure. Let's get started. that has two units. D equals mass over volume. As we look at the first example on our worksheet, we find that the mass is provided along with the volume. The units do not cancel out, therefore they are incorporated in our final answer. We also need to consider that our final answer should consist of the proper significant figures or digits. In the first example, my density is equal to 12.2, which is the mass, over 3.43 milliliters. I'm going to divide those two numbers and I get a very long number of 3.55685. I'm only going to record three of those numbers. My final answer would consist of 3.56 grams per milliliter. I rounded off the prior five to a six because of the significant digits rule. The next example, D equals mass over volume again, 9.23 grams divided by 6.23 cubic centimeters. Again, I must incorporate the proper significant digits. Therefore, my final answer should be recorded as 1.48 grams per centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters, however you want to say it. Let's take a look at the next example where we have to calculate the volume of any object given the masses and the densities. One thing I want you to keep in mind is that the boxes that you see on that worksheet are used for you to incorporate the formulas. So as we look at the next one, I have volume equals mass over density. This is what you can put in that box. I put also on here that volume has one unit. Volume is equal to the mass of 14.45 grams divided by 0 0.982 grams per milliliter. Two units look the same, the grams. Therefore, I cancel them out. And when we talk about volume, we know that volume has a unit of liters, milliliters, cc's, and so forth. So I would not have a gram anywhere in my final unit answer. I have four significant digits on the top, three significant digits on the bottom, therefore my final answer would have to have three significant digits. Once I plug this into my calculator, I get 14.7 milliliters. The next example, volume, I have 11.67 grams over 2.90 grams per cubic centimeters. Again, I'm going to cancel out my grams because they are the same on the top and the bottom and we get rid of our like terms. So when I take the four sig figs on top 
divided by the three significant digits on the bottom, my final answer should come out to having only three significant numbers. Which in this case, the final answer is 4.02 centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. Again, however you want to say it. Let's take a look at the last example on your worksheet where you have to calculate the mass. The mass, again, consists of only one unit. So, what I'm going to do is put the final formula here of density times volume. So, in my problem, letter A, I have the, vo the volume of 14.45 milliliters. The density is 3.91 grams per milliliter. You should notice something here that two units will cancel out. My milliliters will cancel out. And I have three significant digits in the first number. I have four significant digits in the last number. Well, when I multiply those two numbers together, I should only record three of those numbers. In this case, 56.5 grams will be my final answer. In the last example, I have three significant digits. And in the last number here, for the milliliters, I have three also. What I'm going to do is multiply those two, two numbers together. Again, canceling out my like terms, which are the milliliters, and I'm left with 7.91 grams as my final answer. a density of 13.6 grams per milliliter. How many milliliters of mercury have a mass of 0 0.35 kilograms? One thing you must keep in mind is that your units must be the same in order for them to cancel out. If the units aren't the same, the problem is not going to work. Here you have a gram on the top for your density unit. You have kilograms for your mass. Those two units will not cancel out. So the first step you're going to have to do is convert. Now, if you take a look at my next screen, I have for your checkoff list is to check your units. Again, as I mentioned before, nothing can be canceled out. So we're going to convert the units. Our kilograms, which is a mass, and our density is grams over milliliters aren't equivalent enough to, for us to go ahead and like cancel things. So I'm going to have to convert my kilograms to a gram. And the remaining unit on the bottom stays the same, grams per milliliter. You never change your unit for density when it's already given off of a chart. Now, in this particular case, I can convert and cancel out. So I have my like terms canceled, which are the grams. And now I'm going to proceed with the formula. The formula is, of course, volume is equal to mass over density. I change my kilograms to grams by moving my decimal three places to the right. Once I move my decimal places three over to the right, I get 350 grams. Now I can apply that formula to the problem. Volume is equal to 350 grams over 13.6 grams per milliliter. My final answer should have two significant digits. I plug in 350 divided by 13.6 and I get 25.7. But if I get 25.7 as my final answer, that's going to be marked wrong. Instead, I should record 26 milliliters as my final answer. Please try to remember the three formulas for density. Units are important to remember for each of them. D equals mass over volume. Volume equals mass over density. And mass is equal to density times volume.